With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, our question is to justify whether it is true to say that the following are n term of AP. So first is, our first question is 2n minus 3. Let's put n is equal to 0. So n equal to 0 is what? Minus 3 n is equal to 1, we get what? This is uh, 2 minus 1, so we get, sorry, 2 minus 3, so we get minus 1. After putting n is equal to 2, we get what? Uh, sorry, 4 minus 3, so we get 1. Uh, after putting n is equal to 3, we get what? 6 minus 3, this is equal to 3. Now, look at this terms. Minus 3, minus 1, 1 and 3. Now, the D is here. The D between minus 3 and minus 3 is what? Minus 1, minus of minus 3, that is equal to 2. And also, D is here. 3 minus 1 is 2. Now, D is same. For these n terms, so we can say this is a AP of n terms. Now, for second question, same apply the process 3n square plus 5. So, n is equal to what? 5 n is equal to 1 so what we get is 8 for n is equal to 2 we get 3 into n square it means 4 4 so 12 plus which is 17 n is equal to 3 we get what 9 27 27 plus 5 is 32 here D is what? 8 minus 5, that is 3. And here D is what? 32 minus 17, that is what? This is 15. We can see these terms are not same. So we can say this is not a AP. Now for third one, third one is what? One plus n plus n square. One plus n plus n square. For n barabar zero, what we get? One. For n barabar one, we get three. For n barabar two, what we get? One plus one plus. 2 plus 4 that is equal to 4 plus 2 is 6 7 for n is equal to 3 what we get 1 plus 3 plus 9 that is equal to 13 here d is what 3 minus 1 that is 2 and here d is what 13 minus 7 that is equal to 6 so here 2 is not equal to 6 so hence we can say this is not a AP of N terms. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.